Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to the first video of a two-part series all about my experience of journaling over the last year and how it changed my life. In this video, we'll be covering traditional journaling and in the next video, we'll be covering bullet journaling. There'll be a link in the description to the second part once it's released and you can check it out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. I started traditional journaling just over a year ago on the 22nd of April, 2019. And when I use the term traditional journaling, it's kind of similar to keeping a diary. So it's like, you just write my thoughts down, how I felt the day may have gone, different things that happened in the day, and also just like a way to clear your head of things that might be on your mind, just a way to get it onto paper. When I started journaling, I didn't know exactly what the effect or the benefits that would come out of it. I watched a bit of content about people saying that they saw these different kind of benefits. I didn't know exactly how it would benefit me because I hadn't done it yet. I don't, I've never remember really doing it before this point in time. So I thought, what the heck, let me just give this whole journal thing a go. In fact, I'm gonna read and share with you my first journal entry that I wrote. Well, hello journal. This is my first entry to my journal. Okay. I'm not sure what is going to come of this, but I watched slash read a bit lately that journaling a bit every day can have a positive benefit on one's life. Note, a lot of people buy journals, spend two hours doing the first day, and then give up because they didn't have two hours to do every day. That wasn't very good English, was it? <laughs> so let's begin the habit of just five minutes a day. I don't even say five minutes. So here it begins. As you can see, I didn't know exactly what was gonna come from trying to journal. I didn't overthink it. I didn't consume millions of hours of content about it. Just went and done what felt natural to me and just wrote what I felt like I wanted to write. There's no right or way wrong to journaling, I think. I wouldn't tell you, and I wouldn't say that you need to watch or read about how to journal. Because it's literally just writing your thoughts down, maybe how your day went, just doing what is natural to you because I feel like that's how you get the best benefits because what works for one person might not work for you. Over the last year, I did not journal every day. Some weeks I might have journaled every day, but other weeks I may have only journaled once or twice. But I'm pretty happy with the frequency that I've had it in my life over the last year. But I have been journaling a lot more recently and this is because I want to like build up the habit more, make it more consistent because I want to do this because in like 5, 10, 15, even 50 years, I think it'd be really cool to look back and read how I was feeling on a random day or just something that I'd done in 2020 or whatever, like what, any year that is, that is coming up. Because you don't know what you're going to remember in the future. So I think it's like it's a pretty cool way to do that. Just imagine how cool it would be when you're old. You have like these massive stacks of journals of like your days, how you're feeling, anything that you're writing. I don't know, but the way I journal is probably going to change in the future. Like as the world changes, like imagine like in 50, 75 years, how different everything will be. Having to have a log of all of that will be like, be pretty cool, I think. That's my thoughts. I don't know what you think, but I think that's a pretty cool thing. I don't know how many people actually do this kind of thing. And yeah, but I feel like that'll be something that's pretty awesome. And this is something that I want to do for many years to come because one way I know it really helps with my clarity of mind and that's something I'm really trying to improve. And as I said in my, video just before the end of 2019. Something I'm really focused on in this year is building good habits and trying to improve my clarity of mind. And not only do I want to do this for that, but also to serve to my future self. With this whole serving to my future self, something I think about is the one year rule, which is in one year's time, what, when I look back, what would I have been happy that I worked on? What is something that I'd rather have prioritized? Maybe like going to the gym more, like exercising more, something that I would think that I should have done more like you know, for quite a while. And thinking and trying to implement in those things slowly to how you will feel in one year and how you'll be happy from the actions you've taken today is something that I think about quite often. And it's all about just doing these things slowly and building them up because like, I don't think you should go from, I don't, and it's not really that possible because it would just lead to burnout going from someone that does hardly much to this like productivity machine, guru, expert person. It just doesn't make sense. Like how can you go from A a to Z in like five minutes. It doesn't make sense. If you want to do this whole thing of being high performance and being productive and all this kind of stuff, it's going to take time. It could probably take five, 10 years to go from A to B of like having all these different habits and having the things that you really want. Probably, I don't really know, but it's going to take time at the end of the day. Also, from when I started journaling, I kept thinking about how awesome it would be to read journals from my ancestors. So in a way, I want to do this to also serve value to people in the future, such sort as of my family that might want to read my journals. Also, I don't think you need to be good at writing to do stuff like this, because at the end of the day, your writing will just get better as you do things like this, like 
writing blog posts, scripting videos, writing journals, all this kind of stuff that I've been doing will contribute to my writing skills. Like essay writing actually is helping me right now with all the like scripts that I'm writing and I write a weekly in my newsletter every week. So just all these things that I picked up about from writing essays over my all my school years and also now while at university, well, technically university has stopped because of the pandemic and everything, but being at UEA where I was, I've done quite a lot of essay stuff and a lot of more of that is gonna come up in future years. And yeah, I just feel like having these experiences has helped me a lot, which I didn't realize would do. For a while I didn't, oh, the education system not that much value, but actually it's provided more value than I thought. And it's something that I'm thinking about a lot, how actually university is not just about what you're learning there, it's about all the other things that happen as well. That's something I'm gonna, I'm thinking about more and we'll probably make a video on in the future, but yeah, that's all about it for now. Sometimes, and I'm sure many of you experienced, that I didn't always feel like journaling. Sometimes I just didn't want to do it at all. But even though there were days I didn't do it, those days that I pushed through and wrote down my thoughts or whatever, anything that just came to my head, keeping the habit and building the habit of journaling, that helped me much more when it comes to the days that I wasn't feeling the best or just like having a bad day or had some thoughts in my mind that I want to get out, out of my head. That was when I really appreciated journaling because that really helped me. Like I remember, I can't remember, what it was but I just really had something in my head that I was like just kept overthinking about it and literally I sat there I journaled maybe like three pages of my book uh, just thinking about it and yeah that helped me so much more than I thought it would. I've seen a lot of benefits from journaling and some of them include getting rid of brain fog and an increase in mental clarity that's been something I'm working on since January and yeah I'm pretty happy with, with how it's been going something that I'm still working on and still want to see, I have not seen maybe as much as I've wanted to since January, but yeah, it's something that I'm working on. Also, journaling has helped me realize things that are really important to me, maybe things that I was neglecting that is important to me. Seeing maybe actions that I'm taking that make me happy and make me self-reflect, as well as just helping with things that I'm trying to achieve. And I wouldn't, I didn't actually realize this would happen, but I've just started having more ideas when I'm journaling. Sometimes I was just writing how I felt my videos were like how, how I liked them. Maybe there were some things that I don't, could have done better. One of the videos I made, which was how to stay motivated in the uncertain times with the pandemic and everything. And I scripted that video out a lot. And what I've realized from making that video is that I don't like scripting so specifically. I like writing a script, but then just start talking from the head like I'm doing right now. Don't tie yourself down to what you've written because you need to allow space for creativity. And yeah, that's something that I've been thinking about. And journaling led to me to come up with more YouTube video ideas and business ideas. And just going through thoughts in my head allowed me to just think of things creatively. Like I have quite a lot of ideas that I'm looking forward to putting out on this channel soon. And journaling helps me come up with them. And I was just, I was just like, didn't know that was gonna happen. Also something that I've seen as a benefit for journaling for me and something that I read online that a lot of people have seen is that people have seen a benefit and I have in reduced stress and also this has helped me realize what things that are important and things that actions I've taken that may actually not contribute to the things I'm trying to achieve. Also something that I've seen from when journaling is actually when it's paired with another habit and I tended to pair journaling with meditating. First I would journal and then I would meditate I don't think it really mattered what way round you've done it. And yeah, I felt like this really just grounded my thought process in the morning. Also, I thought I'd note that I started writing my journal entries on a digital note-taking app called Notion. But in November of 2019, after I actually got given a notebook from uni, like on one of the fairs, and after leaving that, it was a pretty neat notebook. So I was like, oh, I can use it for journaling. So yeah, it kind of just happened in the sudden. And yeah, the reason I continue to do this, writing in my hand, one, I feel like in the future, it'd be nicer to have these actual written pieces of journaling, like actually see my handwriting. As well, it just feels nicer to write it by hand. Even that it takes a bit longer, it just feels nicer. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. You can check out the second part with a link in the description once it's released. And if you like content like this, the chances are you will probably enjoy my weekly email newsletter. I send an issue out every Sunday and it's around similar topics of habits and productivity. So if you want to sign up to that, it's completely free. You can sign up with a link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys soon.